welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host today, Lipstick Paddy, and today we're looking at trekking the world. I need to sit down for this one. This is an incredible project on Kickstarter. First, let's go to the intro. Earth is a beautiful planet, but even more beautiful when you're on the planet. You can fly and see amazing places, or you can climb to the most amazing places to see amazing views of the world. Simply incredible. Once in a lifetime achievements. Things you will remember for the rest of your life. You can even climb to the top of the very mountain and ride her down on beautiful sunny days or jump into the vast ocean and see the most amazing things in the water the majestic beauty that lies beneath is a marvel to discover you can also take a walk on the beautiful beaches and have your footsteps removed by the ocean. We are just a speck on the ocean, but to travel around our planet is incredible. To go shopping on the streets of cities is just one of the many adventures where these adventures always start, where fun begins and ends where fun ends. Welcome to Trekking the World. Well, that's just a glimpse of what this planet offers and in this game we are going to see all the highlights of this world has to offer with beautiful art, but less said, better shown. So let's go to the Kickstarter page right after this. The next social stretch goal on KISS 102.4 is the 250 subscriber. Subscribe today and unlock new music that will change the music in all the videos in the future. You could be part of the evolution. Alright, here we are. Trekking the world. A globe-trotting board game, an elegant strategy game, celebrating the pleasures and wonders of world travel. <gasps> Look at the artwork. Oh my goodness me, am I blown away already. <laughs> and what a first day it's having. Already past its um, goal. And it's the art that pushed me to this. All four of us looked at this campaign and were blown away. This is going to be a backed project for certain once we find out shipping prices for here in Mexico. Look at the cover. It looks so exciting, doesn't it? All these wonders of the world. We've got Paris, Greece, Moscow here. We've got uh, Giza, pyramids there in Egypt. Barcelona here. Unbelievable. It looks great. I love the box. I love the corners on the box. Look at it. It looks so cool. Now hopefully the, they do... How many days is it? 20 days. Hopefully there is going to be some UV on the front of this box to make it look Kickstarter exclusive. Then we'll all be displaying this front and center on our displays for certain. This one's going to rest up um, vertical on our shelves for certain so we please you be spot it please remember we are the backers we are the ones supporting your project we are the ones promoting it and we should get something cool on the box <laughs> all right just look at it look at it i do love this board i, I think one thing i would have liked because the ocean is beautiful if you look from the international space station the different colors of it for example here in mexico you have 
fresh water mixing with ocean water. It produces some beautiful hues of blues. We have beautiful hues of blues as it comes towards Europe, the, the European shelf that just dips down, plunges down into the base of the ocean. And beautiful, you know, on these coastlines were there tropical beaches. It should look beautiful, different colours. We could easily update this just to make this board, the ocean of the board, wonderful. Out here we've got the the great barrier reef that's in beautiful aqua waters. And, um, you know, where the ocean is super deep, the mid-Atlantic here, the Pacific, and um, that should all be deeper blues for the depth. And I think that would look really cool just to immerse the water features and really represent the planet from its water textures um, I'm, I'm cool with the countries being the colors they are but I just think that the the water could look even more amazing anyway these cards are looking super cool I love these little suitcases here <laughs> and just pick out the Great Barrier Reef here um, Hopefully we'll see more art as we go down. I like the 10 age group. So this is uh, just coming of age for a child. With double figures for their age. Not quite a teenager, but there. So um, glasses is a gateway game. Join us on a journey to visit the world's most peaceful places and collect souvenirs and enjoy the miracle of our planet. Totally agree with that. We collect souvenirs when we travel. It's great. <laughs> And yet, yeah, nice short time to play. So this is great pre-dinner, post-dinner. This is great for any time of the day. You can even take it to work and pull it out and play this. This is what we like about these, these um, what might be called gateway games, but they're basically just easy to get to the table game. Genres don't represent games that well. It's better just to describe them. Easy to get to the table and play it and finish it in time so yeah oh look at it now this is what this is art we can get behind because we have a instinctive we can instinctively see the world here and know we can visit it we we looked at museum pictora the other day with its fine art the team here forced me through the updates looking at all the fine art. It was painful. If you want to see me in pain, look at that video. I'll put the link above. In short, it was horrendous. The fine art is lost in today's world. It really is. There's no understanding of that for anyone under the age of whatever I, I that's all explained in my video but this art in this game is all current day we can feel this we can visit this it's so much in this world present day it the appeal is so much better than fine art look at this how long bay vietnam looks great i'm trying to think does this go round into a cave here it looks familiar. Anyway, this is what I mean. Evokes these. This artwork evokes places you may have seen somewhere else or seen on television. It just evokes memories. Fine art. Poo poo. Look at this Mount Fuji with the cherry blossoms. This is this is so much more of a romantic picture than the romantic movement of fine arts because here we can see pure nature in all its beauty here <coughs> and also can't forget that the mount fuji is a volcano this thing could erupt one day and destroy all this beauty here so there's actually chaos inside this tranquil painting here it's very interesting International artists, yeah, it's cool. I do like this um, it's impressionist style. I did say in my Pictora video that it is my it is my niche of art it is impressionistic, and you've hit the nail right on the head here. Look at Cuba here, Havana, looking 
great. And um, I get this American out there in the, um, oh, what are these called? My brain. <laughs> the Great Canyon, Great Canyons, something like that. American, sorry, I'm from Europe, I'm Irish, and I'm living in Mexico. <laughs> the thing we always see in films, anyway, got Urs Rock here in Australia and look at that pink sky of this place it is a desert in the middle of Australia it really is and that's why it's so red with uh, the, the color of the ground it's hard to know these the Colosseum please why don't people in Rome rebuild this and put live theater inside to pretend it's like we're fighting gladiators it would be great to see that like WWF wrestling but in Rome in the Colosseum oh man that's what I want who's the Rome mayor get on it <laughs> I don't know what this is could be surfing in Bermuda these guys where are you at you look like you're um, climbing somewhere Climbing somewhere easy. This isn't a large mountain. You've not got any bags with you. You're just kind of doing a day visit, it looks here. Where could that be? I don't know. Uh, this could be Morocco, it looks like. Hard to know, hard to know what this one is. Somewhere in South America, maybe Michu Picchu. I don't know. This is Teacadachan. I can't say that word. Oh, is it Chitza Itza in Mexico? I don't know. I've not visited these places yet. I was in Cancun, but I, I was in no rush to go to Chitza Itza when the beach was so beautiful. Look at this from Africa. Oh, man. When you're in Ireland, you get sheep crossing the road. In Africa, it's lions. Oh, man, what an experience just to see the lion cross the road with the babies. Magical moment they're captured in a painting. Ugh. We've got the necropolis here in Greece. Um, again, you've got the tourists here. I do like this, looks really good. This one looks maybe up in Canada. <coughs> no idea where this one is. But I, I understand this game is going to see, going to show you where these places are. Click the image to see all the destination art on our BGG page. Well, we can look at that, but we're going to go down the Kickstarter page first. Inside the box, you get the board. Nice shape of the board to show the shape of the world. You have got like this darker hue on the outside. I just like the detail of in the inner regions here. And uh, if you play Civilization, the computer game, even if you zoom out this far on the map, you can still see the ocean colors. <coughs> so <clears throat> hopefully this is some detail you can, you can maybe add in. I'm sure your yeah, artists would love to do that. All right, Torres del Paine, somewhere in South America, that one. Uh, Gemma Elfen, where is that? And where's Banff? Banff, I don't know this. So yeah, this is, this is obviously teasing you to go and find this stuff out. Unique Trekkers, um, they are um, certainly unique, these. If you look at their heads, they're different. Although we are in Kickstarter and we are deserving of miniatures, are we not? Is the potential for a miniature add-on? That would be much appreciated, especially, you could see the detail more in a mini of the traveler in the safari outfit or the guy in his mountaineering or the lady who's wearing a fashion statement for traveling to Cuba. I don't know, you could have fantastic, more fantastic detail in a mini. And um, yeah, Adrian Charles of Gloomhaven actually said that he he looks back at Gloomhaven first edition and said maybe doing standees was a bit of a mistake. Doing four minis didn't, wouldn't have cost that much more money, $10 maybe to do a whole mini set for it. So mini's not that expensive, especially with 3D printing these days. So maybe um, do a bit of research on this. 
And remember, Kickstarter, everyone is your com competition out there, but even though they're competition, you can contact them and ask them for some information. They're using the Adam Smith business model where we can all learn from our competitors. And with that, we all benefit. So there you go. The <clears throat> competition can be friends. All right. <coughs> We've got a generic bag here. This would look great with the logo on it. Um, <clears throat> let's go up to the logo. Yeah, trekking the world on the bag. That'll look cool. My finger will work out going up and down. <clears throat> yeah, bag. Is this an omission? Is there a stretch goal? We're going to put some personalization on this bag. That'd be nice. Love the suitcase. Suitcase mat. Now, if you're putting cubes in here, this would be great if it was dual layered, right? Totally would be. Dual layered is a thing. It's been trending for a couple of years now on Kickstarter. And um, remember, the size of your box is very limiting. Don't, don't be frightened to increase the box size. Elon Musk said in his recent interview at the satellite conference, that the International Space Station was limited innovation because of its size. It never grew in size and it limited what could be done in there. Elon Musk said that it is very important not to restrict your size when you're designing something. So yeah, make sure you've got room for dual case. I understand in the comments, um, the box is going to be big enough to sleeve the cards, even these big cards. Um, uh, uh, this is kind of interesting, isn't it? Souvenirs. Like, why only four souvenir t souvenir tiles? Crafts that you can wear, figurines for your house, like ornaments, clothing, yes. Postcards, what about for your Christmas tree? Um, there's, there's so many different genres of souvenirs. Um, handbags, purses. Um, I don't know. Tons of tons, tons of different souvenirs. Glassware. Loads of them. You can do more than four. Maybe this is coming in in stretch goal. Anything like this, punch board tokens could could be put into. Plastic. Uh, what's it called? Brainwave not happening. <laughs> Help me. I'll, put, I'll write it in the screen what I'm talking about here because I, my mind's gone blank. All right. 75 Trek cars is going around the world. We have ocean adventures. We've got cultural adventures, trekking adventures, photography adventures, and mountaineering adventures sounds great play aids much appreciated and they look cool look at that the artist is brush is pretty much everywhere Whoa, look at this game tray game tray you are making dreams come true on kickstarter you rock big time oh man just looking at those Meeples, they do look good, but oh man. Oh. <laughs> Give me minis. <laughs> Miniatures! Look at these cards, it looks deep. Like they could definitely hold more souvenirs in there. Absolutely. It looks cool, this shape. How's that fitting in this box? Kickstarter exclusives. Ooh. The Lost journey cards not much art on these cards I guess is this work in progress it certainly looks different than your other cards which are beautiful got a high standard here to live up to across the deck here all right yep it's a route management game where you travel the globe to fantastic destinations <laughs> looks good on the board looks like you can pull out some of the uh, 
game tray here, so it actually benefits in and out of the box. Nice. And, um, oh, look at it. Look at this one, Salah de Yummy. That's what I want to do is motorcycle across there. Look at it. Oh. And the Pyramids of Giza, they're opening up the Great Museum of Egypt this month, I believe. I guess the coronavirus is going to stop people going there, but man, is there ever a time to go to Giza with that beautiful museum they built with all of the Egyptian artifacts from the neighborhood pyramids and literally from the museum you can see the pyramids. I am going to put a, dis a description in the video so you can see what this museum is going to look like in Giza. It's bloody stunning. <laughs> Whenever those cruises, Mediterranean cruises get back up and running and there's one going into um, Egypt, I, this, that is a certain, certain culture trap, tourist trap, waiting to be seen. This one, look at it, it evokes something that I want to do. I love these cards are just speaking out to me. Matcha picture, my wife has been here. Yes, you have to take um, tablets when you get up, it's so high altitude and it is a class A drug. <laughs> to give you a class A drug so your head doesn't go crazy when you're up here. I can't remember which one it is. It's um mm. I'll ask the manager, my wife, what it is. She's not here at the minute, but um I will write it above here. It surprised the heck out of me what the drug was that they were giving tourists when they came here. Interesting knowledge. If you know anybody that's been to Machu Picchu, ask them about it. Is, is this on the back of the card? Each destination card illustrates a real location on one side and tells you about that location on the other. Oh, man! Museum Pictora, do you hear this? Extra information on the back of card. You're useless, Kickstarter. That Museum Pictora doing things that I don't like. This, however, is doing things beautifully. Look at it. Even the, the surrounding paint here looks beautiful. Variable setup. All good. We like all this. Kind of see the board art here um, up close. Uh, maybe it's just uh, I've not seen it up close to appreciate it. Oh, it takes three minutes to set up. Oh, look at how that board unfolds. <laughs> Let's see that again. Whoa. I don't know why Kickstarter peeps don't do this as a video so we can pause it. No, I know. It, it does look cool here, but you can see that when you do this, it adds a grain to the video. Whereas if you had an embedded YouTube video of this, um, we could open it out full screen, go 1080p, and uh, appreciate your animation much more. Um, yeah, it's definitely, when you do this, it, it um, what's the word? It compresses it so that the quality inherently goes worse. All right, down roll the rule book. We'll um, get to the bottom of the page. We'll do the rule book, then we'll do BGG afterwards. That's the way we're going to roll it. We will certainly have a, a, a peek. Yes, trekking the national parks. Not too interested in that. Uh, trekking the national parks. Similar to the parks game we covered on the channel in February. Um, it was more like a tourist board for the USA, wasn't it? But um, yeah, this one's got more globe trotting on it. It's far more appealing. There you go, Chitsen Itza in Cancun. And that's the other one, Teya Chichakan. <laughs> They're difficult to say, aren't they? <laughs> 
just one pledge level. <clears throat> Please, add-ons. We need add-ons. We need a superior box cover. That's what it instantly says to me. We need this stuff. Also, think about sleeves. If you look at the Museum Pictora Kickstarter, um, they are offering sleeves as an add-on. And it's much appreciated. I love just getting the Kickstarter box, open it up, the sleeves are waiting for me in the box, and I sleeve it all before I even do the first play or, you know, that, I love that setup. So um, please look to see if you can put a sleeve pack as an add-on, that would be great. Shipping info. I get nervous when I'm coming down here because I know I want to back it. <laughs> oh, there's a view sheet. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. What we'll do is we'll do. <laughs> I'm getting nervous here though. We will do rule book. We will do shipping estimates. Very last. Rule book, BGG pictures, and then shipping at the end because otherwise I'm going to be on a big downer when the shipping to Mexico doesn't exist or it's too expensive. Now you uh, Kickstarters learn from this this is leading in with leading in with YouTubers not leading in with your official channel we don't want to see your official stuff right out the gate we prefer our YouTube celebrities that we like to watch. We prefer this over anything official. We do appreciate official, especially Q and A's, um, of course. That can be all done in the updates, though. Not to worry. Look at all these kind of standing. <laughs> the Grand Canyon. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yellowstone Park. Christ the Redeemer, Brazil. Kruger, what's that? Pyramids of Giza, still standing. Eiffel Tower, visited it in 2019. Taj Mahal, I'd like to visit that one day, I guess. I hear they do great ice cream just to the right. Taj Mahal, best ice cream in India. <laughs> All right, here's some of the illustrators. Bang on the money, super great job. Potentially do another pass on the board. For the sea, the ocean is its own character. Please put some more love into it. Wow, look at this team. It's a big team. This is not an indie project. This is a triple A game here. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Right, we're at the bottom of the Kickstarter. We're going to go to the rule book next. So let's go there now. Oh, look at that cover. <laughs> Shows you game components here. Four souvenir tiles. You can't get more than them. <laughs> All right, man, look at it. I love it when they show the table set up. And look, we've got numbers on the setup linking to numbers on the table. This is the perfect welcome to the rule book here. Looking great. Looking totally, totally cool. Whoa. Four and five players. Did I miss this? Five players. All right, so they've got a two player mode and a three to five players. Wow. I assumed it was two to four. Was the fifth player? Have we got any, have we got any of uh, the fifth player setup pictures? I don't know. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Full of color, using images from the game using cards there's no walls of text it's clearly laid out a lot of work's gone into this looking great 
see more of the art here. Great Wall of China. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to enjoy looking at the art of this one. The Acropolis of Athens there. Nice. So there we go, a nice short rule book. Um, would be appreciated if you put a Q&A from your game testers, if they've asked questions about little things in the rule book, even though it's in the rule book, but they keep asking this question, that's where the, the FAQ can come in here. And also an index would be appreciated because even though it's a short book, you might be wanting to know about the certain thing about the souvenirs and you want to know what page it is and you can't remember the index right at the back just says page five and you instantly go there and it stops that frustration mid-game when you need to look at the book. Um, easy to do though, but often missed by companies. So yeah, we are campaigning, campaigning for indexes and FAQs. There you go, beautiful, beautiful book, rule book, looking fantastic. I think it's time to go to the BGG to see the more art. Let's rock and roll. Well, we're logged in here as our researcher, Boalicious, as he's been working on some stuff for the channel for this week on, as it's gonna be an intense, an intense one on Saturday. We're, we're covering so many in our experimental week. Also, I'm going to lend my happy St. Patrick's Day to you. I am Irish myself. So wherever you are, um, slauncher, which means cheers. Have a nice pint of Guinness if you can. I'm currently off alcohol for Lent, so no Guinness for me. <laughs> but slauncher all the same. <laughs> Oh, that box looks great. Now, if you're back in this game, come to BGG and thumb up these because it gets more coverage. It puts it up the hotness here. You need to put thumbs up on all this great work. Look, these could have been the minis here, look. Could have been a mini representing each of the five different types of holidaying. Beautiful, is it? Look at all those birds coming out. Are they bats? <laughs> What's the history with these? Did they roll people's heads down these steps? Um, I can't remember. What's that? What's that um, movie called? Um, Mel Gibson movie, where they were using these as sacrificial places. That, I like that movie, it's good. Oh, look at this. What's that? In Gaza Falls. Where's the back of the card? I want to know more. <laughs> if this was France, because the French are crazy, in a good way, they would have a zip wire going across here. I'm no joke. <laughs> The French invented extreme sports, 100%. They are bonkers up in the Alps when, it, when, all, the snow, when, all, when all the snow melts. Their mind goes wacky. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of these pictures that you would eat, totally put up in your house. Look at this jungle. Angel Falls. Mm, I do appreciate cats. There you go, old Havana. Palm tree looks really nice. The Cliffs of Moher. This is my own country island. I think the Cliffs of Moher is more cliffs. We, you rarely see a low cliff in the Cliffs of Moher. <laughs> That is a view of the Cliffs of Moher I don't think I recognise. In fact, this could be more representative of the west of Ireland, where I'm from. But um, yeah, appreciate it anyway. The soft and craggy boglands and the tall majestic hills, where the ocean kisses Ireland and the waves caress its shore. Oh, the feeling that comes over me. 
of Highland. Yeah, you miss it. Wow, look at that. Is that a great picture of the Colosseum from a bird's eye view? Oh. I'm telling you now, Rome, we need this repaired, restored, and live theater WWF style gladiatorial fighting. It's a thing. Peeps, this is a dream it needs to come true. Hang on, hang on, go back. back. I need to tick that one. <laughs> Why have only five ticks for the Colosseum? That's an amazing photo. Maybe more Irish people landed on the Cliffs of Mohair and they've not seen this one. Table Mountain. There's a mountain like this in Ireland, in Sligo. Nice. Mazor Palace, where's that? You can see the back of the cards. <gasps> Petra. Do, 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 do. Never visited there. Interesting place to go, I guess. This guy wearing jeans. He's hardcore, him. Where is he from? Because it'd be red hot in this place, I'd say. Where the camels are is where the heat is, he says. It was snowing in Africa in, um, in December and January. Camels sat on the floor with snow coming down. Check the internet for pictures. It was great. <laughs> oh, there's the map. Looking cool. Looking cool. You could easily have an expansion, couldn't you? Trek to the South Pole and the North Pole. You could just add that board in. <laughs> oh, what would even be better would be future holidays to the moon and Mars. Ooh, space variant coming soon. I'm getting distracted here. We need to take these, don't we? For the support of this game. The Bagan Temples. Ooh, is that Thailand? And look at these people in balloons! That's the way to travel around this place! Balloons with a picnic and champagne. Oh, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Did I take that one? Yeah. The Banff National Park. Love that one. Sydney Opera House looking beautiful in its splendor. Architect, I have an architectural degree, by the way. Architects call this place the turtles having woohoo um the mating turtles <laughs> is what the architects called this building once you know that it never leaves your imagination did i take that one i did i'm losing my short-term memory here look at this thing look at this it looks fantastic doesn't it i'd love to do this Deep sea diving in the Great Barrier Reef. That's on everyone's wish list, probably. Looks epic. All right, we've reached the end of the images. Let's jump back to the Kickstarter. We interrupt this broadcast going to the shipping rates. Well, they don't ship to these countries over here. I think our friends in Brazil won't be happy with that. Um, maybe you need to do a second pass on your uh, companies that ship you ship with. It is okay to have more than one shipping. Chronicles of Crime on Kickstarter right now has six companies it uses to deliver around the, around the world. Um, I'm guessing we're falling in the rest of the world, which seems to be a little bit unfair. If you're posting from USA, it's just as easy to get it to Mexico as it is to Canada. We should be treated the same. And the United States, Mexico, Canada trade agreement deal is in place. So hopefully this can get updated. And I imagine it is in Google View, so it can be updated. I will contact the... 
the devs as soon as I finish this video to find out if we fall in this range because I hope it's 30 not 50 we can definitely stomach 30 so all good news yay all right we're back to the Kickstarter right now there we go trekking the world fantastic oh man what we need to see is a UV spotted box cover. We need to see art pass on the ocean. It's my, my wish anyway. <laughs> Add-ons for minis maybe. A baggie that has your logo on, not a generic bag. We got a generic bag with Isle of Cats. It was the only disappointing thing in the box was the generic bag. Oh dear. Um, jewel layered boards yes please I, this is definitely doable and add on for sleeves oh yeah sleeve packs please that'll be fantastic these are these little extras will certainly make it more kickstarter exclusive and will certainly make people get excited buzzing with bubbling with excitement if you do these things and look at this, 784 backers. Shame on you for not going to BGG and upvoting those pictures. This game deserves to go up the hot list because it is super hot. Triple A game here, look at it. Oh. If the game is deserving of your attention and five minutes to go to BGG and just thumb up those 18 images, then my goodness, that's a call to action worth doing, guys. And gals wow 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 all right this is trekking the world it has been our pleasure at the channel checking this out it has insta back all over it so you'll get certainly more backers if you do the kickstarter things we were talking about even if you just do a couple of them it'll certainly be more pleasing to those passing by and you've got 20 days to engage the community i recommend doing some social stretch goals so people are forced to get out there and share um, this wonderful kickstarter and uh, we can hopefully get it more backers because it's definitely worthy of that indeed so we're aiming for the sky with this one trekking the world and it looks fabulous all the updates we will be letting you know on saturday with this week on where we cover all the updates of all the games we cover on the channel so we can keep you up to top up to date with all the top news all right so we will be doing news on saturday of trekking the world you have been listening to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm Lipstick Paddy, your host. You take care. Um, you take care. Have fun. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.